And to a Fox 59 exclusive now, a year-long investigation culminated with Johnson County authorities arresting people at several businesses today. Those people are all accused of buying stolen catalytic converters, and police say the arrests represent a new phase in the fight against those costly crimes. We were the only ones there today when police rolled up with warrants in hand. After years of going after catalytic converter thieves, police in Johnson County are now going after the people and businesses suspected of buying the stolen parts. Cutting the head off the snake. Johnson County Sheriff served warrants at two businesses and one residence in Edinburgh today, arresting five people. All of them are suspected of buying stolen catalytic converters from thieves who didn't have the proper paperwork that state law now requires. People waking up, cars being extremely loud they find out they're missing parts and now they have two thousand three thousand dollars worth of work that they have to pay for since january undercover detectives have been taking catalytic converters to sell at cats plus group metals recycling and the home of glenn johnson during that time detectives believe these people and businesses were able to deal in up to fifteen hundred catalytic converters in a day Everyone arrested here today is facing felony charges in part because of recently passed legislation at the State House. Under the new law, the illegal purchase of a catalytic converter leads to a charge of concealing a valuable metal purchase, which is a felony. People tend to shrug off misdemeanor, but felony has a different, a different sound to it. Investigators hope these arrests and future operations will send a strong message. It's much more difficult for a thief to go make money from selling a catalytic converter that just got caught off of, cut off of a vehicle. And another new law say to, set to take effect in July will limit cash transactions on catalytic converters to one $25 deal a day. Police hope that will go even further to limit these activities.